roller derby works. Um, basic roller derby 101. Well, you each uh, period, we have two periods, and um, they're divided into things called jams. Uh, they can, jams can last for two minutes, and um, basically what happens in a jam is you have five people from either team on the track. Um, there's four blockers from either team, and then two jammers. The jammers, you can tell them because they have stars on their helmets, and they're the ones who are racing around the track. They're racing against each other, trying to score points, and they score points for every opponent that they pass on the track. Before I started, and my sister can attest to this, I was very introverted. Um, I, you know, I, I like music, but I didn't like go out and do a whole lot. Um, but ever since starting roller derby, it's filled my confidence. Like I am, you know, without getting all emotional, like I'm able to stand up for myself a lot better, like stand up for what I believe in. And there, there was a show on a &E that started that was Roller Girls and it was based on the Texas Roller Girls. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever and I just started to look around and it just so happened that Pittsburgh League was starting. And I think I found the ad on like Craigslist or something. And I was like, it's either gonna be really cool and awesome or something really creepy. I don't know, but either way, try it out. That's the, like, that's the best suggestion that I could have. Like I know when I first started, um, I was like, oh, maybe I'll do this for like uh, six months or a season or something like that. Now I can't even imagine my life without it. It's amazing. It really is. It sounds really cheesy, but you'll hear there's there's two classes of people. Either people that come in because they want to like dress cute and like wear a lot of makeup and like be a derby girl, and then there are the people that are like, I can never imagine my life without some sort of derby ever again. Uh, and we're lucky because we have a huge group of people that are like that, especially like on our team that we're on. So we're always pushing ourselves and it's it's not easy by any means, but it's one of the most rewarding and fulfilling experiences that you'll ever. Like we, I've been all around the world. I've been to London, I've been to Montreal, I've been to Vegas, like it's amazing. California, yeah. But Derby is kind of unique that, you know, we will go out and we will just beat the crap out of the team that we're playing today. And then we will be at the bar just having a beer and hanging out and talking Derby. And it's really, it's, it's. I, I don't know many other groups that are like that. Like, Derby people are crazy, but it's a good kind of crazy. <laughs>